Hey, what is up everyone? I am Roman and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be building a resume parser model with the help of Spacey version 3. If you don't know what a resume parser is, a resume parser is a tool that automatically extracts information from a resume. This information can include a person's name, contact information, education, work experience, skills and other relevant details from a resume. So today we are building this resume parser model. Before going into the model building, you must know about the dataset. Here we have dataset that we have annotated from over thousands of resumes from LinkedIn. You can see the dataset format. We have resume content and then the annotated entities like LinkedIn link, skills, name, certifications, etc. So we're gonna build model that can predict this type of entities level from the resume content. For annotating in this format, we have used this NER annotation tool. Besides, there are also other tools you can use like Prodigy and Tokano. So the first step would be to annotate each of the resumes like this and save it in this format. Now we can begin our training process. You can visit this spacey documentation page to learn more about the training and other things. I have followed from this page. So for training, first we need base config file and we will get it from here. Choose NER for components, hardware GPU transformer and optimize for accuracy. Then click here to download this file. Alright, so before starting training, I will show you my folder structure on Google Drive. I have created resume parser folder and inside this I have these folders. Config folder which contains the base config file that we have just downloaded. Then dataset folder that contains the dataset and model folder where we are gonna save our trained model later on. And finally test folder which contains some resumes for testing after building our model. Okay, so let's move to the Google Colab and start training our model. So here we are in the Google Colab. First thing you must do is to change the runtime type to GPU as we will be using GPU to train our model. Alright, so let's install Spacey and Spacey Transformer. Now import these things, we will need it later. You can check the spacey version you are using with this command. And similarly the information of the GPU you are using with this command. Next step will be to import the dataset using json.load part of the dataset. Now if you run length of CV data, you see I told you I have annotated over thousands of resumes. Let's see the first resume, CV data of zeroed index. So here is the content of first resume. Now for the next step, we need to fill in the remaining default in our base config file as in this documentation. Python-m spacey init fill config base config.cfg config.cfg. So I'll provide base config part and the part to save the fill default as config.cfg in the same folder. Alright, now here comes the real part, the main function to train our model. We have a function get spacey doc that takes file and data as parameter. This function helps to create a new document object doc from a text input text and a set of annotation anode. The annotation specifies the start and end indexes and the level of entities in the text. The code then loops through the annotation and creates span object for each annotation, which are used to define the entities in the doc object. If the span object is not created successfully, the error is returned to a file. Finally, the entities are added to a doc object and added to a docbin object db. Then the function returns the db object. Now from sklearn, we're gonna split our dataset into train and test. 70% for train and 30% for test. If you run length of train and test, you will get the number of train and test file. 
Next, we will save the train data and test data. We will save it inside the mural folder. Alright, successful. Now we will finally train our model. For that, we will run this command space train part of config file and save the model output inside the model folder. Give path to the train data and test data that we have saved earlier. And finally, the GPU ID 0 to specify we are using the first GPU. Before running the training command, what we need to do is we need to make some changes to our config file. Let's open the config file. You can make changes on your own as needed before starting training. You can see here we are using Roboter based transformer. You can also use other transformers. So what we are about to change here is this max step. We don't need 20,000. I'll make it 10,000 and let evaluation frequency be 200. So after every 200 steps, the evaluation of the model will be shown. And maximum step it will go is 10,000, which I think will be more than enough. Let's see after training. Okay, so you can make some changes to the config file on your own and try training with different values and techniques. For now, I will just make these changes. Save the change and back to the cell. Let's start the training. Alright, so the training has started. It provides steps, transformer loss, NER loss, F score, precision, recall, and the final score. I'll be back after the training has completed. Two hours later. Okay, so after two hours, the training has been interrupted due to out of RAM. The model has been trained up to 8000 steps, which I guess will be enough. The model has been saved to the output folder inside the model folder with 85% overall score. That's good. Let's test our model and see if it works or not. First, let's load our spacey model with spacey.load and path to the model. Since we need to convert PDF to text, install PyMU PDF. Then let's open our test file, extract the text from the PDF file, if you run text, you can see the content of the PDF resume. Now let's make the prediction. This command will predict the entities level for the resume text above. Ok, so here we got the result, the model has predicted a lot of things, you can see. So I can say the model worked. Let's try for one more resume, uh, let me change the path and run the commands again. Oh, so our model is predicting all good. So we have successfully trained our resume partial model and successfully test it with good result. So this is all about the resume parser. I hope that you learned something new today and enjoyed throughout the video. If you do hit the like button, it will be my pleasure. And with that being said, I will see you with more content in the future. Until then, stay tuned. Goodbye.